the if function in Excel is one of the most important functions we can learn because it can help us automate tasks and also save time with Excel. In this video, we're going to see two different radical examples using dates and also using numbers as a criteria to the if function. In one of those examples, I need to check how many days are left from the delivery deadline considering the today's date as a criteria in my calculation and the way i can automatically create this status that help me visualize those rows where the delivery deadline is very close to happen and if i update any delivery deadline here such as this one that i'm selecting let's change the day seven to the day five let's say and here i'm gonna press enter look what's gonna happen with the status it's automatically updated for me with the correct result with the new calculation and you can also apply this methodology using dates to calculate the dual date, the expiration date, or to see how many days are left in between two dates. Now, another example that we can see is a list of students. And based on the final grade, we need to fill in the status for each one of the students. And the status result can either be extra test or approve it based on, again, the final grade. So let's find out how can we use the if function to help us with those radical problems step by step from scratch let's go in this first example i need to fill in the status for each one of the students that i have in this list based on the final grade in the final grade i have the average that is considered all the three previous tests that each one of the students did here to the right i have some explanations what i need to do and as you we can see there's only two different results the one is if the final grade is greater than or equal to six, so the student is approved. However, if the grade is less than six, so the student needs to do a extra test. That way we can see there is only two possibilities, or it can be either a extra test or approve it. That way, instead of manually fill in the status based on the final grade, so let's say five is equal to extra test. 7.3 is equal to approve it and on and on because it's going to take me a long time to individually fill in all the cells that i have i can use instead the equal sign if function to help me double click one two to select the first thing or actually the if function has three different arguments the logical test the value if it's true and the value if it's false so let's say as the logical test i want to check first if my final grade is either greater than or equal to six or if it's less than six i can use both of those those criteria right let's start with the first one i want to check if my final grade is greater than or equal to six so let me select the value that i have to the left and then i want to check if the final grade is greater than or equal to six simple as that and there's two logical operators that I'm using here, greater than and equal to. You, there's many different others that you can use, such as greater than, that is the one that we are using here, less than, and also the equal sign. So there's those three different symbols that you can use. And you can also combine those three to make different logical operators. So let's say greater than, you can also use greater than or equal to. That way you need to append the greater than sign and also the equal to sign greater than or equal to and also less than or equal to and on and on but here let's stick with i want to check if my final grade is greater than or equal to six comma if it's true so i want to append here the text the word the sentence approve it however before i input a text in excel the result i need to open quotations and then input the text that i need approve it and then close quotations comma else if it's not true so the second result the second possibility is open quotations and extra test close quotations close parentheses simple as that uh, let me press enter here that way we can see because the first final grade that i have is not greater than or equal to six so this is student gonna need to do a extra test now let's click in the bottom at the bottom right corner of the cell hold and drag down to make sure we can cope with this formula down and we're done. Now we can see whenever the student got a grade that is greater than or equal to six, such as 7.3, uh, or actually the number six itself, because six is not greater than six. However, it's equal to greater than or equal to six. So he's approved. Um, the result is correct. 
Another way that we can uh, make this formula, let's say, let me read it off the first one. Equal sign if function again. This time I want to check if the final grade is less than six. Basically what I'm doing here is just reversing the order of the things. Simple as that. Comma. If the final grade now is less than six, so the first argument, if it's true, open quotations and then extra test. Close quotations, comma, else, if not, approve it. Basically, we're going to have the same result as before. However, using a different logical operator. Enter, same as before. Okay, so far so good. Now let's move on to the second example. However, before we move on to the second example, something very important that I want to show you here is the if function in Excel, as we saw before, allow us to use two different criteria, two different results. However, and if you have more than just two results, such as excellent, good, average, bad, terrible, and on and on, maybe here I have five different results. But if I have 10 different possibilities of results, how can I use the if function in Excel with more than only two different results? There is what is called here in Excel a nested function. That is actually the equal sign, a if function, or any other formula or function in Excel within another function. So if I append the if function within the if function, it's called nested function. This functionality in Excel methodology is going to help me, allow me to use more than just two different results within the if function. And if you want to see, more about the subject, I'm going to leave a free video in the description. So just click and watch. It's also a YouTube video where I talk about this functionality of the if function or if function with many different results, many different criteria, arguments. And there's also instead of the nested if, we have equal sign, the ifs function in Excel that actually allow us to use many, many, many different criteria, results. However, anyway, anyhow, Click in the link in the description, there is a free video about this subject, if function with more than only two different results. Now, this second example, we have something very different than before, because here we need to work with dates. Let's consider this is a sales report or actually a purchase items list. So I need to compare the delivery date, the delivery deadline with today's date. I want to see how many days are left. Uh, consider the data that I, that I have in the list with the today's date. First of all, Excel has an excellent function that is equal sign today function. The today function can always return the current date, my today. So enter uh, March 30 of 2024. This is my today's date. However, if I open this Excel file tomorrow or next week, next month, next year, the today's function is always remain update for me with the current date. Doesn't matter anytime that I open this spreadsheet, it's gonna be automatically updated for me. So now let's compare equal sign the today's date with the delivery deadline. So the date that I have in the list minus the today's date. Let me press enter here. Okay, so I can see that is 23 days left from today's date to the delivery deadline. You can also use this calculation or this methodology to check the expiration dates or the due date of something. Uh, let's bring this formula down like this and also this one down. Okay, now we can see the second one is 25. Let's bring it down and one more time. Okay, uh, checking the results, we can see there are five days left. There are eight, there are zero, and also there are greater numbers, larger numbers, such as 23, 25, and on and on. I want to create here a, a status like we saw in the beginning of the video. I want to have within the if function, this calculation, this difference between the today's date and the delivery deadline to help me visualize better the purchase items that are coming soon or the sales report that I need to deliver to the customer or on and on. So let me read it off everything here and then equal sign if function, double click, one, two. Now as the logical test, I want to consider the delivery deadline minus the today's date. And instead of manually input the date, as we learned it before, I can use the today's date. Okay, double click. Something that we need to be mindful is any function in Excel needs to have a open and close parentheses. When I input the today function, 
The only thing that I got is the open parentheses. So I also need to close the parentheses. Close parentheses. Okay, so the difference is already here. Uh, but it's not done yet because I need to check if this difference is, let's say, less than or equal to one week or seven days, in other words. So if the difference is less than or equal to seven days, I need to highlight these cells. Trauma. Uh, so my status is going to be open rotations and then less than one week trauma uh else if not if it's not true i want to use open quotations and then okay just a simple a basic status close parentheses and then i'm going to press enter the first status is okay because of course the delivery deadline uh from the today state the days left is greater than seven days now let me bring this formula down and see what's going to happen with all the rows that i have and we have a couple of results that are less than one week now the last thing that i want to do here to complete this task is selecting everything in the column J and highlight those cells that are corresponding to less than one week to make it easier to visualize those rows. So home tab and then conditional formatting, highlight cells rows equal to. Here I want to input, uh, highlight everything that is less than one week like this. And then let me press OK and we're done. So this is how we can use the if function in Excel with those two different radical examples. And do not forget, if you want to see more about the if function with more results, click in the link in the description. There is a free video to you. And if you have any questions and any suggestions to the next videos, let me know. Comment down below and I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.